when you create the water surface clouds terrain or maybe materials in some cases you can see the mathematically generated lines or straight lines or circle some more very recognized patterns that is obvious not naturally and in some cases maybe you want this to change how it's look so we can do this by manipulating with some fractals and with some functions so this is a little bit more deeper than just created okay as example we'll go work with the water so let's click and create a water surface we'll just increase bring a little bit closer to the camera let's take our camera and pointing down okay maybe raise slightly the reason is why i just want to preview the water surface okay as well i'm going to an atmosphere editor and switch to the standard atmosphere the only reason i do this so i can faster render for our tutorial let's click ok and now inside the um c let's open material we'll take the foam and we'll just hide the foam all the way so it's won't be on our way to preview and also in default valley or water transparency tab we'll take the depth and we'll set to about 10 meters all this done is so we can preview um easy how the waves will look okay um before render let's go be sure to just preview mode render to screen body and we'll just go click to render and you can see it's look very nice i see few already right here straight lines it does not look bad but they can be look a little bit more natural but again this is just a material for our water so the how we can modify water properties we can go in the tab we're going to select we can select the liquid and load it material straight from the different water the other ways also we can do it is just double time click on material open this go inside the water and here's a little bit more advanced we can go inside the bomb tab and notice right here this is what creating our water a surface this bump texture so we could modify we could actually stretch and you can see right here we can stretching in specific direction we can decrease how depth will be so it's more calm we also can go actually and modify function but here's a problem if we go modify right now you'll notice it says that is requires advance for some nodes so if we go inside the function editor some of those nodes won't be available and texture will disappear so i need to go back and kind of reset it cancel this again so in some case we're resetting this value so we can keep it but you also if you left click double time you'll open this functions and this is available functions for us that already pre-made you can also download some of them from cornucopia or other places and if we cycle through them you can find some very interesting you know very um some ocean or other segmental so we can go over them and see which one will work better for us so example we can go in the bumps and select maybe a little bit um different okay you can see it's stretched more so one thing i want to do is take bumps and take it down to one okay and if we preview you can see it's look different from what we have before okay this is one way to do this let me cancel so we go back to default okay and by the way if you don't click ok just x it will revert to the original what was before you click ok so but water is a little bit different because it's have its own properties if we right click on the c and going to edit object not the materials you'll notice it's open this water surface option properties and right here we have some options we can access we cannot access many of them but most of them we can access and modify it okay if you have questions about these uh, properties we almost need a special tutorial but i have a little bit easier actually for your solution if you're going to the web page it's called vu from ground up this is supplemental web page for the book that uh, me and amy wrote together okay and this is a uh, go on here click inside 
and right on your side or on the right side you'll see a lot of free download one thing what you're looking for it is water property reference so if you open um, and download this PDF okay, you will have it water options in v7 again this is says v7 but most of them will apply almost everything to current v2015 as well this wasn't that many changes so and right here as you scroll you can see it will explain what is those properties mean and also how they work so you can create the waves around and just go over this is very handy to have it um document so each time when you, when you work and you want to know what does the some specific properties right here what do they mean so you can go and modify of course additional options was added in 2000 later versions it's underwater galaxy so you can kind of adjust but mostly it's for the light okay so right here we can add displacement on the water or change wind directions reduce wind amount and you can notice it will affect how the voice uh, does render as well if you have a two straight line you can take some adjacents and sharpness down and it will make much smoother look so let's go click OK and render okay let's click OK and you can see between two of them we change already we change direction Okay, we change sharpness allegation so it's look more natural in this way just with the small adjustments again this is as example for the water you can also do same things modified if you have a terrain clouds or other things just small modification and change some functions so as example in atmosphere as we've done before let's switch to standard for example we loaded the cloud fluffy cloud and if you notice in some cases have a very straight line does not look good so we can double time click on this cloud which open the properties inside and in color and dense you know the same we have a function as well right here we can modify this function but again remember to have a full access you kind of need advanced graph module for this or double left click so you preload it so I'm already created and we can change shapes with uh, different functions inside and of course you will have the ability to modify some of those properties okay, we can go pop up slightly this way okay let's take our camera point slightly up and you can see we have a beautiful different actual looking clouds less um does not cut off like another one so just the adjustments changing graphics graphs and change some functions on the materials on the creation that will on the fractals that will create more natural and different look so you can try uh, playing around and explore thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio Please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com or check us on YouTube. It is Geek at Play Studio channel. Thank you.